Hello, you two. It's your boy T. We about to react to uh, Jonathan Lucas, Devil's Work. Let's see what he talked about in this. Let's see what he's talking about in this. Come on, everybody, open up your ears. Everybody, open up your ears, cause this is not no game to be playing with. We need to uh, take the time out and think. <laughs> Before we listen to this song, what are we listening for? Let's get it. <coughs> Father, forgive me. I'm staring at this Bible as I keep glancing. Dear Lord, I got questions and I need answers. I'm trying to understand your vision, all I see is damage. Just a bunch of dead bodies in the street camping. A bunch of lost souls on their feet standing. We supposed to be your children, I thought we family. You supposed to be my father, bro, I need answers. We don't need to die young, we just need chances. Tired of living on the edge, so we keep scrambling. Trying to talk to these strippers, but they keep dancing. We just want me number one like Steve Francis. Bow our heads to these that shit go hard. questions and I need saying. answers. Trying to understand your vision, all I see is damage Just a bunch of dead bodies in the street camping A bunch of lost souls on their feet standing We supposed to be your children, I thought we family You supposed to be my father, bro, I need answers We don't need to die young, we just need chances Tired of living on the edge, so we keep scrambling Trying to talk to these strippers, but they keep dancing We just want me number one like Steve Francis Bow our heads, say a prayer, now the seas planted Everywhere I turn, I'm seeing MCs vanish a lot of good niggas gone, I don't understand it. A lot of families lost and they see stranded. I ain't trying to disrespect you, I just need answers. I know you watching us from heaven thinking who to save. Cherry picking who should go next and who should stay. I'd be on my way to heaven if I knew the way. And bring back every good nigga you choose to take. They say you never wrong, but you done made a few mistakes. Cause you taking the wrong niggas, maybe you should trade. Trade us back, all the real ones, remove the fakes. I think you should trade. Give us two pop back and say that nigga shook. Let the legend resurrect that he gon' live for good. I be screaming thug life in every different hood. If only you can bring him back, Lord, I wish you would. Give us Biggie, give us Pun, give us Triple X. Take that nigga Trump with you, that's a bigger threat. There's too much power for a coward with no intellect. This shit deep as hell. The reason I just sat there and couldn't vibe to that for a minute. Because the stuff that he was saying, I was like, okay. But he makes a lot of sense, though. Like, that's what probably go through a lot of people's minds. Is like, you know, God do control everything. He do makes who, who he wants to stay here and who he wants to take up with him. He do have that power giving them saying but it's all about everything goes in a in this course you know what i'm saying if it's your time to go it's your time to go this is how it goes depending on who you have around you just gotta be like god can't control he don't control us like robots if they make sense but everything is written in a certain way the way how you live your life will be based on the decisions you make can put you around people that can either harm you or it is real this is more of like a difficult conversation when you when you talking between trying to use God's mindset through a human mindset. You ain't gonna be able to do it, man. Like depending depending on how like if you really wanna know God should think beyond us, right? So his whole mindset is totally different from ours. So obviously we supposed to think like him, but the way how we are now, we don't think like him anymore. We used to be connected, we used to be spiritual people. That's what I believe. But let's hit this. With you. Let's go. Straight to hell. They don't need a vision. I need you to give us back Martin Luther. Take Martin Screlly. Give us back Malcolm. Take R. Kelly. R.I.P. Lil Snoop. Get they that boy's life back. Take Eric Holder. Give us Eric right back. I'm sending you this message. Lord, I hope you hit me right back. They say I'm on the wrong train. I know I'm on the right track. Cause Trey Bob gone and all he did was try to fight back. Zimmerman walk around free. We don't like that. Why you take our mothers from us? Fathers and our sisters and our cousins from us. Got these children getting murdered while they double dutching. Wonder why the fuck you take Nipsey 
hustle from us. Damn, you took a true king, a true brother from us. This a fucking marathon, but they running from us. Now everybody got guns, niggas up to something. And every gangster want to prove that they tough or something. You know it's not fair, tell the truth. I've been in my feelings too. But if you took him and tell, at least take Dylan Roof. At least take James Holmes. I ain't even mad at that. Just bring back Whitney and give us Michael Jackson back. Feds want me and then slam it down. Ain't no justice for Sandra Bland. We up like a sailor fan. Lord, if you listen, I'm just looking for a hand in hand. Take out the fuck niggas and give us back a fam again. Drowning in my tears, trying to pray for some. Wonder why you give us life for you to take it from us. Wonder why you give us family and erase it from us. Maybe hopefully you can have a conversation with us. Maybe. What he's saying makes a, makes a lot of sense. It's like a lot of questions a lot of people can't answer. It's like questions that can't be answered. You know what I'm saying? These are questions that you can ask somebody, they ain't gonna know the answer to it. You know what I'm saying? It ain't got nothing to do with asking. Like, if you don't believe in God, they say you ask a random person. They don't know the answer why these things are happening. But the only person that we can think of that people that is real religious and spiritual is God. It just, I mean, it is what it is. That's the only thing you can think of at the end of the day. Everybody and their mama trying to be a thug. I don't go to church because I'm afraid of being judged. I've been staring at the ceiling as I lie in bed. Watching niggas follow trends like Simon says. I pray you give us back the real ones and try again. Or maybe take them niggas that deserve to die instead. Tommy Lauren run her mouth and then she get defensive. Lauren Ingram laughing at death and disrespecting. I really feel like you should teach them stupid hoes a lesson. Either that or give us back somebody who deserved the blessings. I left out a bunch of names that I forgot to mention. Cost too much to pay attention and it got expensive. Father, forgive me for I know not what I do. And now I'm reaching out to you, hoping you hear me and return the message. I know that you got our back and that you're not against us. Or maybe you just love us, so you're doing shit to test us. I just kind of thought that you would do more to protect us. They say the good die young, and I ain't on a guest list. I've been drinking, Lord, forgive me as my blood racing. I don't know what I'm thinking, I'm just frustrated. I don't mean to question you, I'm just confused. I don't know what else to do. I've been patient, and it sucks waiting. Took my mans from me, that forever hurts. But putting the blame on you, that it never work. I know this ain't your fault, it's the devil's work. Devil's work. Devil's work. Hit that like button, subscribe, and comment. That I don't even have to say nothing. That that shit go hard. It's deep. It's a message in there. I might disagree with it a little bit, but one thing I gotta say is, bro. I like how he lead it up to that. You had to listen to the whole thing to understand it where he's coming from. Somebody else that listens to it, they might get offended. But you shouldn't get offended because these are questions that people usually don't ask. You can ask a pastor a question, he might not have an answer to it. So that, that's what, that's why it's so deep. You got to be an open-minded person to be able to know what he's talking about. He ain't saying, oh, you know, like he don't like God or anything like that. Or he ain't got nothing to do with God or anything. We don't know if he's atheist. or I don't know his the whole background, religious background. He could be a Gnostic, all we know. He's probably just rapping based off what he learned and what he taught, what he was taught growing up. So you got to think, it's a lot of stuff that haven't been answered or told to us growing up as kids. You know, it's certain things that we haven't learned that other kids learn because they're in a richer neighborhood. You get what I'm saying? And it's, just, it's, it's sad to say, but this is true. If you think about it, look at the statistics and look at the um the poor neighborhoods and how those, those people that come in around people that that have a lot of money or they've been been around with a lot of money don't know how to act around those people because they act a different way you get what i'm saying and it it happens like that and that's that's the reason why a lot of people that try to fit in with the wrong crowd end up getting shook and, and it's kind of sad but what i gotta say is man don't try to fit the crowd let the crowd fit you and what i mean by that is a lot of people that you know they always trying to keep everybody around but i think you know it's a lot of good people that's alive you know, you got J. Cole. He's a good person. Kendrick Lamar, he ain't get killed. So, it's it, it just certain people that get killed. And I know Nipsey Hussle, but I'm not going to put him on a pedestal. There's other rappers that rap like him. It is that Nipsey Hussle had a dream of being independent. Like, he was trying to be the next upcoming. But it's a lot of good people that 
that's next up coming. I mean, I know um, Kendrick Lamar and all them, they probably didn't say too much about Nipsey Hussle, but you got to understand, that's the reason why they separate themselves away from uh, the crowd like that. You know, a lot of them, they probably do stuff for their community, but they don't be up under their people like that. You know, not 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 like not saying that those people are bad, it's just bad influence. It's just saying like they trying to live in a better and a higher form. Like if that person is trying to get to where they at, then they have to pay to get to where they at because is they not finna sit up there and give no handouts when people can actually get to where they at just by you know working hard and actually grinding because they had to grind to get to that. You had to work hard to get somewhere. Don't try to make it easier for somebody to get you to, what you got to do you got to teach somebody how to fish so they can have fish for the rest of life it's a, it's another thing for a person that you know fishes for that person like just give him some fish that'll last for a month when you can teach him how to fish it'll last for his whole life you know it's a saying and i don't know if i'm saying it right but look at it like that like every life every life uh experience that i learned it's best to learn how to fish so you can feed a family for your whole life. You can basically be fed for your whole life compared to somebody that don't know how to fish. And I'm not saying if you don't know how to fish right now, you know, you ain't going to know how to live or anything like that. What I'm saying is it's a figure of speech. It's talking about, I don't know, it's a whole bunch of stuff that goes along with this. I'm over here just talking my head off, but uh, I wasn't trying to make the video that long. But this made me think deep and what I think. Is that we're going to have to learn the either the easy way or the hard way. And as we go through life, we're going to have to learn from somebody getting taken away from us. We're going to have to learn something. And it's all a, it's a learning progress. So if somebody gets taken away from you, you got to learn from that. You got to learn certain things that they did that got them to that point. You know, I have family members taken away that was close to home that passed. And it's sad to say that people can pass away just just by the blink of an eye, like, without you even knowing type stuff. Like, you don't even know what's going on. They just pass away. Like, you you wasn't around, and it happens out of nowhere. You get what I'm saying? It, it's kind of weird. Like, you just leave off, and, and you come back, and then that person is gone. Somebody that's close to your family, like, somebody that, you know, real close to, it could be your aunties or your grannies or whoever that's real close to you, right? Any Anybody that's close to your mutual family get gone, it, it kind of shocks you a little bit. You want to make sure everybody's okay, make sure everybody's mind is on the right path because there's certain things, some people react differently when certain things happen. Certain events happen, some people act, react differently, so it'd be like, do I really want to uh, go through this? Do I want to follow their footsteps? Do I really want to uh, go through that route? You get what I'm saying? Do I really want to uh, end up having that same issue? You know, I'm trying to learn, like, how do they get to that point? How do certain people get to that point where, you know, you can't dodge death, but I'm saying, like, you can prevent yourself from being in an environment where you know it's crooks around. That's just how I look at it. But, I mean, you got J. Cole, you got all these other rappers. I'm not saying that they don't do nothing for their community. But it's kind of hard to do for your community when you got people that hate hate on you. That's why I don't see why, like, you know, I mean, I'm not saying that it's not surprising. It is surprising because that's the last thing you would think of, Nipsey Hussle dying and stuff. So, R.I.P. to Nipsey Hussle. Hit that like button, subscribe, and comment. Gotta take care of fam, man, that's my blood. All the chit chat, and I don't really have time for it. Nope. See, I'm on my grind, so I really have a handful.